My mom called the show because I'm a troubled teen. I'm out of control. Yes, I'm drinking. I'm smoking. She doesn't like it. I do. She doesn't. She can't accept my boyfriend. We're together. I am 14. He's 19. We started seeing each other when I was 12. I did lose my, my virginity to my boyfriend when I was 12. It was planned because we were in love. When I'm with my boyfriend, we go out with friends. We drink. We smoke. I am having unprotected sex with my boyfriend. I like I like having unprotected sex with him. If I do have a baby by my boyfriend, I know he would be there for me. Yes, me and my boyfriend are going to be together, and it doesn't matter. Tanya, that's your 14-year-old uh, daughter on the tape, and it sounds like you might become taking care of another baby pretty soon, huh? Uh, that's not what I want, Steve. No, I know that's <laughs> not what you want. I'm listening to that tape, and that's a scary situation. Yes, it is, Steve. She's a 14-year-old out of control teen that is into drugs, sex, alcohol, not going to school, running away, and now she's got to where she doesn't come home anymore. She's starting to get into stealing. This 19-year-old boy that started going out with her when she was 12 has stolen her childhood. He has stolen her virginity. We got her put on protective supervision, and that is where it's something like probation. If she runs away, then I call the court counselor and I let them know, and they'll put out a protect. Uh, custody order on her. And that means that she'll be picked up, she'll be arrested, took to detention for 24 hours, and then I pick her up the next day. And has that happened? It's happened about seven times and she just seems to don't care. And do you know what kind of drug she's doing? Uh, the only thing that I knew about was marijuana uh, lace with um, coke. Put this guy in jail twice now, right? Right, but when we went to court, they threw it out because they say I don't have any proof. You don't have any proof that he's with her? Right. Well, I think you got some now with your yeah. daughter talking on tape. I'm not leaving no, her. No, you are going to no, leave her, not. daughter. No, no you are. No, I'm not. Because no, you I'm have not. nothing to offer no, her. You have no, you I'm not crazy. Me. You don't even know I don't want to know you. Don't you. Know I don't want to know you. Don't, I don't understand how you could, 19 years old, you're seeing a 14 year old, you come on here with this big clown like grin on your face. Uh, you know, like, w w what are you? Are, are you a clown? No. Then why, why would you act like one? Are you proud that you're dating a 14-year-old girl? I love her. She's you, what, a child. What, do you, what do you mean yeah. you love her? Yeah. Age don't matter. Oh, Nothing age don't matter? No. So, see, if you, if you break up, I can start dating her? <laughs> it's somewhere in your mind you got to know that this is wrong. Right. Love, would you date, would you date a 12-year-old now? No. Why? Cause I wouldn't. I wouldn't do it. Not right you now. Were, you were dating a 12-year-old just two years ago. When I was 17, I was a minor. If you could look at a crystal ball, and you knew you could see that her life is going to end up being, she's going to have a kid with you when she's a teenager. She won't finish school, and you'll end up living in some ratty apartment. And life will always be tough, and she'll be. Messed up in her mind because she got into this adult relationship when she was 12 years old. Would you say, you know what? I really do love this girl. I don't want to mess her life up. I'll walk away. <laughs> She's probably going to keep pursuing, keep throwing your ass in jail. You're really going to end up making mistakes someday. And by you being involved with this girl, you, you, are you going to school? No. Do you work? Or, yes. Sir. What do you do? Uh, I'm on, on paint company. And, and, and so you're going to make it with this, and you're going to support a 14-year-old, and you're going to, and if she gets, you're having unprotected sex, right? Yeah. You, you want a child with her now? Well, what do you think is going to, you, you, you learned that in high school, right? That if you have unprotected sex, there's a good chance you're going to have a baby. <clears throat> yeah. So why do it? I don't know. Why don't you tell her you don't go to school, I'm going to break up with you. I do. I say you everything break up to with her. her? Huh? Then do you break up with her? You don't even have anything to hold offer on, Hold on, hold on, hold on. Do you break up with her when she doesn't go to school? No, I don't talk to her on the phone. I tell her not to call me, don't talk to but me. But then when she comes over, you're having sex with her, right? No, I tell her not to come over. I tell her not to come around me when she skips school, because I'm working. But well, then, then you're always back with her, right? Huh? You end up back with her. A young girl like that, doing drugs, having sex, drinking alcohol, not going to school. What do you think her future is like? Going down board, I guess. 
let her go. Tell her you're going to leave and you ain't never going to see her again until she's of age. And if you haven't fell in love with a woman by then, maybe you can look at her again. Doesn't that make sense? Yeah. Find a yeah. woman, not a child. Find a woman, not my baby. Do you think, are you thinking just even the slightest bit yeah, like that? Yeah, think about it, yeah. All right. <laughs> you know, I saw you before the show today. Mm -hmm. I saw you walking through the parking lot, and I said, who's that little girl? What, what, what is she doing here? And I got to say, now I know, why are you with a grown man? I just love him. I mean, well, but, he, well, why? he respects me. He respects you, huh? Yeah. How does he do that? He just does. Any 14 you don't have the emotional capability to be in that type of relationship. It's going to do you no favors. It's going to really destroy your life. Having unprotected sex, right? We've been having unprotected sex for three years, and I'm still not pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're lucky. If he really loved you and had feelings for you, he wouldn't let you be drinking. He would, he would say, you're going to stay in school. He uh, does say that. He tells me that. He tells and, me and to if go he, to school. And, and if he you don't go to, to school. Home. I don't if, listen to him. Why don't you go to school? Because I don't want to. I just why? Don't. I just don't. What do you want to do? With I want, uh, what do I want to do when I get older? Yeah, what do you Be want to do? Be a DEA. A DEA? Mm -hmm. A drug enforcement officer? Yep. You know, to be a DEA agent, you eventually have to be, be a high school graduate, have a clean record. And a uh, college degree, I believe so, isn't that right? So if you don't go to school and you're drinking and doing all this, how would you ever get, a, a, let, let on DEA, any decent job? I have to change and go to school. <clears throat> you're not that far away from being 17, 18. Why wouldn't you say, you gotta wait. If you want me, you'll wait for me. I'm gonna buckle down, I'm gonna go to school. I'm gonna make the most of my life. I'd love, I'd love for in 10 years you came back and you were a DEA agent. I would love that. And you got some tears coming out. What's going on? Not, just listening to what you were saying and stuff and what you were telling me and stuff. And I guess both of y'all are right, but I don't, I don't know. You're going to have kids someday and you wouldn't want some guy or some girl coming in and destroying their dreams, making them bums. Right. Somebody has to make a good decision here. And if she won't do it, you're the adult here. You got to make the right decision here. Baby, I love you. And I just, I think, you know, he's right. And I think your mom's right. And I think we just need to, you know, let it go. Why are you even listening to them? I don't know. It's, they're right. They're right. I want you to do good. Be good and stuff. You know? I don't want, you know, I just don't want you to be like, yeah, later on, be like, yeah, they're right, and you're nothing but a loser and stuff. So you're walking away from her? Yeah. That's an act of love there. Are you going to go back to school? Can you stop drinking and doing drugs? No contact. No seeing each other. No running away to each other. It has to be firm. It just can't be for the show. What's So the show's over, why don't you go with your mother and just start being a kid again, okay? There you go. Okay, you made a good decision. Let's go. I don't think it's fair. It's not what I wanted. I didn't want to leave him. I think that it's all straight They just got in his head. I mean, he wasn't going to mess up my future. He wasn't going to mess up my life, but I guess they got in his head and now he's gone for sure. Thank you.